vehicles that we have seen in the past but right now we don't have it because they inspected everything inside so anyways looking here at the box we can see that it looks almost identical to the samsung galaxy s8 box with the exception that now it says s9 plus here as well as on the upper left hand side corner towards the back side here it is claiming to have a 6.3 inch full rectangular display but then with the random corners it goes down to 6.2 now also the description from the uh, provider of this particular item it says that it is a true 6.2 inch display and um, here let me go ahead and open the packaging so that way we can check out the content inside the first thing you can see here is the phone itself and here we have wow it looks very nice on the front here we can see that 6.2 inch display it is an LCD type and it has a resolution of uh, 720p so it is not a true um, you know quad HD display and it is not even 1080p towards the top here we have the uh, front facing camera this is a 2 megapixel sensor camera with the uh, proximity and light sensor and also we have the iris scanning uh, fake sensors on here but they're not going to be functional as we know already this is the first replica guys so please don't expect perfection on here we do have uh, a chin on the bottom side and we also have what I call a forehead here towards the top side so uh, according to some rumors out there the uh, real one is not going to have any bezels around the uh, display I am assuming on the left hand side here we had the metallic frame with the volume rockers up and down and a uh, big speed key and then towards the right side we have the power key again with the metallic frame it has a uh, I would say all around metallic frame here just like the Samsung Galaxy S8 and then on the top you have the SIM card it is a single SIM single standby device and then on the back here we have the dual cameras as you guys can appreciate now the bottom sensor here is uh, fake and then on the top you have the 8 megapixel sensor with the fake heart rate sensor and the LED flash with the Samsung logo and uh, then here on the bottom side we have the USB type C with the uh, 3.5mm headphone jack the main microphone and the loudspeaker so let me go ahead and get this thing started and while this is getting started here hopefully I have some charge I'm not sure yet but let me just go ahead and find out for you guys and there we can see the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus logo powered by Android towards the bottom side and I have to say guys that this time they don't have fake bezels like we have seen on the past year uh, with the first Note 8 replica it has some fake bezels on here I'm not sure if you guys can see that but we can see the bezel here from the Samsung uh, chin side and then we can also see some fake bezels from the display side so that's not going to be happening here with the first replica of the Galaxy S9 plus so here we have the uh, boot screen but again I'm gonna set it aside here for just a second so that way we can check what comes inside of the box so here we have a divider and then after that we have another divider made of uh, cardboard and inside we're going to find some quick start guide as you guys can tell basically explaining how to install the sim card how to charge it and whatnot this is all very basic from the um, Chinese manufacturers when it comes to cloning and next here we have the standard charger even though it looks like the fast charger from Samsung this is not going to be the fast one it is just standard then we have the sim injector tool right here it is stuck I can remove it and then we have the USB type C and finally the earphones okay and that's all we get here inside of the box so now let me go ahead and jump into the replica and talk more about the system alright guys so now that the phone has completed the boot up process here we can see the background we have a wallpaper that says 9 and then we have the Galaxy S9 Plus logo on here as well uh, it is uh, very similar to the touch whiz that we saw on the Samsung Galaxy S8 we have the uh, quick toggle here for the phone app and also the camera so let me go ahead and unlock it here I have set up a pattern now this thing I have confirmed that it doesn't have a real fingerprint scanner it is all absolutely fake as a matter of fact if I go ahead and try it right now you guys will notice that it's going to unlock the device and there we can see it but now I recorded my left uh, index finger but if I try the one that I didn't record it which is the right one you guys will notice that it also unlocks it so that means that this is absolutely fake it doesn't have a real fingerprint scanner and also the heart rate sensor is fake as well so most of the sensors on this particular replica at least the first one are fake but maybe in the near future once they announce the real one they might be getting better and better including the display that has been rumored out there that is going to be
be a true bezel-less display. As you guys can see, again, we have a forehead here on the top and also a chin on the bottom side. But I have to say that, well, for the most part here, the OS looks very similar to TouchWiz. So they have done quite of a, I would say, amazing job. We have the Apps Edge. We also have People Edge very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S8 and everything is working almost identical on the top here we have all the quick toggles as you guys can tell so let's go here into settings and let's confirm the operating system by going to routine management now this is claiming to have the Android 7.0 Nougat but in fact it's going to be the Marshmallow 6.0 as you guys can tell so that has been faked and also it comes with one gigabyte of RAM and 32 or I'm sorry, no, it's 16 gigabytes of internal memory, but the system is claiming something absolutely different, and we're gonna be seeing that here in just a second. By the way, if you guys swipe from the bottom to the top, like on the original one, you're gonna be prompted here to the app drawer, but unfortunately, it doesn't wanna work. There we go. Uh, let's go here into the Antutu benchmark, and here we're going to confirm all the specs or all the fake specs. Let's go here into info and you guys can see that it is claiming to be the SMG9600 with the Android 7.0 Nougat, that's all fake. It doesn't have the Exynos, this one is carrying the uh, MTK65 A0 processor. It is a MediaTek one and it's only clocked at 1.3 gigahertz so it's not really that great to be honest with you guys. It's one of the most uh, inefficient uh, processors from MediaTek and that all explains you know the cost of this product it's only about maybe 100 bucks or so or less but again you're not getting any great specifications out of it only one gigabyte of ram and 16 gigabytes of internal memory in 2018 that's very very outdated in my opinion so here we can see again all these fake uh, specs including the gpu it is not the mali g71 it's going to be the mali 400 so again guys all these specs have been faked but now the phone uh, at least on the us side it seems to be um I can't say snappy but it's not really really laggy for the first replica out there in the market and for the most part guys it is a functional device right now I am connected here with uh, my Wi-Fi and if I connect the SIM card I'm only going to receive 3G with uh, AT&T and also T-Mobile so nothing very impressive on that side and also the ear speaker quality is so so and the loudspeaker is not really that loud uh, let's go ahead and here confirm real quick the uh, Google Apps so right now I am trying here to go into the app drawer and as you guys can tell I am having a hard time doing so so let's go here into the Google Apps here we have the Play Store and we can confirm that it is working right now perfectly well let's try to go here into YouTube and try one of my own videos let's select later for now it does have an old version of the YouTube app let's search here for my and J and hopefully that comes up there we go there we have my videos let's try the latest one So as you guys heard, the loudspeaker is uh, sort of lousy in terms of the clarity and the loudness of it. So yes, it sounds almost like the ear speaker here on the top side and that's why I make this type of video so that way you guys can become aware and know what to look for on these replicas in order not to get scammed. On this one it's very easy because we know the S9 Plus hasn't been released as of right now so it is very easy to spot but anyways guys be very very careful, scammers out there are becoming better and better at selling these devices as real ones so I think that with this being said guys we have completed here the unboxing and the hands-on of the first Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus replica and if you guys have any questions you know exactly what to do just comment below don't forget to subscribe for more like this video and also I will see you guys very shortly on my next one which is about this drone back here that looks exactly like the Mavic Pro it is called the Optane Seafly drone and the video is coming very shortly so make sure that you guys stay tuned to the channel don't forget to like this video and i'll see you guys on my next one